Like the rest of the world, ACS has been going paperless. We use security management software to report, track, and communicate. And this means that all security officers must be smartphone savvy. In this chapter, we're going to look at the technology that ACS relies on to provide the highest security standards for clients. We will also cover the do's and don'ts of electronic devices and review technology confidentiality rules. ACS uses the SilverTrack Security Guard Management software. Being proficient in the use of the SilverTrack app is a must for our security officers. SilverTrack is used to perform patrols, scan checkpoints, record shift details, and report all observations. SilverTrack enables us to streamline communication between officers on duty, our dispatch team, and our clients to respond quickly and appropriately to incidents and emergencies. Now, here are a few steps to get you up and running with SilverTrack. So once you've installed SilverTrack on your Apple or Android smartphone, ACS will give you your login information. Log into the app and select the property you've been assigned to from the scroll down list. SilverTrack informs the office that you are at your post when you're supposed to be, and it connects the app on your smartphone to our issue monitor in the office. And our dispatch team is then able to check your site, location, and hourly activities in the field in real time during your shift only. This kind of monitoring enables us, for example, to send a security supervisor out to the guard's post if the assigned guard is not reporting the hourly report or if there are any issues. Our dispatch team monitors all security officers 24-7 during their shifts to make sure that they are following instructions and making the rounds of checkpoints listed on the post orders. Now, once you locate the property on the app, you will be able to view your post orders. Be sure to read all instructions carefully. Each property has different needs. The client may ask, for example, that you scan QR codes every 30 minutes at specific checkpoints while making your rounds. The QR codes enable the client to see the exact location that you're reporting on. It could be a back entrance, a laundry room, or a leasing office. When you scan the QR code with the SilverTrack reader, instructions about that checkpoint will pop up. And when you complete your shift, your field supervisor will download these QR scans and reports and send them to management and the client. Now your post orders will include a contact list with the client's phone numbers, the local police department and emergency numbers. So if a client contacts our office with additional instructions for your site, our dispatch team will send you tasks and alerts on SilverTrack. To report your observations for a location, Select Add Note, and it will open up the note screen. Type up your observations, then proofread your report for spelling and grammar errors before saving it. Once it's saved, you will not be able to go back and change anything on the report. SilverTrack helps you to create and view detailed reports, including daily activity reports, incident reports, and summary reports. To fill out the incident report, first select the type of issue you're dealing with. Is it a security issue, a maintenance issue, or a parking issue? If you don't see the issue you want to report on in the list, find the closest match. SilverTrack gives you the option of selecting different levels of urgency. Select level one for urgent issues that need immediate attention. For example, a maintenance issue that could put people's lives in danger property damage, or a robbery. Select level two for minor issues, such as a door left open, trash in the area, or lights left on or off. Select level three if there are no issues to report. The property was safe, nothing unusual took place. Along with your written report, you can add photos and audio recordings. Then submit your report and you have completed your reporting duties. We rely heavily on the hourly and daily electronic reports that we receive from our security officers. These reports are the only way for us to track the status of a property. By tracking all properties, we also make sure that our officers are safe and that all properties are under control. Now, when you're ready to leave the site, tap on leave site and then log out and then call the dispatch hotline 
to clock out. In chapter one, we covered basic conduct and brought up the unauthorized use of smartphones while on duty. Catching up with friends, watching videos, playing games, or listening to music are not acceptable uses of your smartphone. So in other words, smartphones should only be used to perform your assigned duties. A security officer should not be absent-mindedly sitting at a desk, resting in a car, or hanging out with friends online while standing at the entrance of a building. Burglaries and accidents take place when officers are not paying attention. Your job of protecting and deterring requires constant alertness. You must be making your rounds, looking out for suspicious activity or anything in your environment that could pose a safety risk. Remember, you are wearing a uniform and people are relying on you. The bottom line is this. No security officer can engage in any form of social media during business hours, whether using a personal smartphone or an ACS device. Confidentiality is a sensitive topic in the security industry. We must do everything to protect harmful information from reaching the wrong ears or the wrong electronic devices, as it could have a direct impact on the safety of our clients, their properties, and businesses. Now, whether you are authorized to use your own smartphone or an ACS device or computer, you must always respect confidentiality rules. Any information that is shared with you electronically using your ACS email or the SilverTrack app is strictly confidential. And that includes all information in your post orders, such as clients' phone numbers or addresses or information about the site. We're sharing information about clients and locations so that you can perform your duties. And we trust that you understand this information cannot be shared with anyone without the authorization of ACS. Confidential information includes all information stored in ACS computers or shared with you on SilverTrack, such as client lists and client information, property information, projects and proposals, financial records, employee records, and other correspondence. Never use a personal email to conduct ACS business and never use an ACS email address or mobile phone to conduct personal business. Okay, ready to recap? Here are a few important things that we covered. One, you need to understand all features of the SilverTrack app in order to perform your duties. We use SilverTrack to perform patrols, scan checkpoints, record shift details, and create reports. Two, you will find your post orders on SilverTrack. They'll include all instructions and telephone numbers that you need to guard the site. Three, keep in mind that you should only use a smartphone at your post to perform your guard duties. Four, remember to never disclose confidential information about ACS or its clients to anyone. A few misplaced words can have dire consequences and disclosing private information would be a breach of your contract with ACS and APS. You've completed chapter four. Ready to take the quiz? Let's click on the button below.